flourish. What a night! What an eviction night tonight! Oh, more. <laughs> Ebuka, well done. Well done, sir. You shook all the tables, broke all the tables that I expected you to. Guys, it was a double eviction. Husband and wife sent home. Yes, and I'm not talking about double K, please. And rules have changed. And if it tells you something, you better listen to me. I told you guys there will be no more custodians. Yes. And some of you are like, isn't this not true? But you see it now. Anyways, let me give you guys a lowdown on what had transpired tonight at the eviction show. Yes. First of all, flourish and of course, trees were voted out. Yes. But before then, you know, we have our custodians, the trouble twins, handy X Wani or Wani X handy. They are the custodians. And of course, they were asked to pick the envelope from the box and reveal what it was that was the content. And it was said, save only. Yes. Now, already we had four pairs that were in the bottom or on the bottom of the chat. Yes. And that was flourish, trees, better. And of course, our regular customers, the radicals. Yes. So they went ahead to save better, leaving the radicals, trees, and flourish. But when Big Brother asked them to go into the diary room to pick two pairs that they want to be evicted, in my heart of hearts, I knew it would either be the trees or flourish. I know that right radicals are safe even though um viewers do not like them like that but it looks like the housemate loved them and that has been their saving grace yes yeah, so they went in there and we did not actually see the video of how they voted um it will be posted very soon via big brother handles on their various social media so um when the verdict came Streets was the first to be booted out and we thought, okay, I mean, now we're going to have the ruthless roots in the house. I mean, this babe went into the diary room today telling me, brother, if I am not evicted tonight, just know you will need seven ninjas because I'm going to set your house on fire. Ah, that was how I was expecting fire and brimstone. I mean, coupled with the things that Ebuka has already done tonight, I mean, I was expecting a lot of drama. But guess what? Ebuka came back and said, ah, he needs to talk to a pair. And I thought it was Joko. I actually thought it was a fake eviction. Um, that was how Big Brother, I'm um, sorry, Ebuka said, you know what, Flourish, you guys have been evicted from the Big Brother Niger house. I was like, ah, Mobe. As if that wasn't enough. The twins, they stood on business. They stood up and they were like, poom, poom, poom. You were going to watch me from the house, biatch. I'm like, ah, wahala, no too much like this. Wahala, no too much like this, my people. See, ya, uh, this is what we call aura for aura. Yes, so one, one, do me, I do you. God, no go verse. Because some of you, you know, are on um, Twitter, on different social media platforms saying, oh, those guys are ratchet, they are ras. It was unnecessary. It's not that deep. Well, it's that deep. It's actually that deep. Considering the things that... um. Ruti had thrown at them the night before. I mean, it's a different thing when you and somebody fight, right? It's a different thing in banter and all of that. But accusing somebody of she and her sister sleeping with one guy, accusing her of incest, haba, is that deep, oh, my people? Let's not lie, let's not steal, right? Anyway, so um, that's what they did. And that was how Flourish left the house. And um, in their post-eviction interview, you could see how Ruti was kind of very emotional, right? Honestly, in all of this, my heart goes out to DJ Flo because that babe has a lot to offer. It's just quite unfortunate that these are the circumstances that led to her eviction. Anyway, Ebuka asked her if her relationship with uh, Mayo will continue. And she said they have an understanding that he's the only one that cared for her, the only one that looked out for her. And I'm like, eh? looked out for you what about you know your partner that was there for you also uh mayor first was asked if he was going to pursue the relationship he has with ruti and he says he will see how it goes and all of that now the one that actually made me laugh ibuka is very mean do you know what ibuka did to toby ford ibuka said uh would you pursue your relationship with cassia and he was like oh cassia did not really give me a response you know but let's see how it goes i'm like ibuka well i'm sure he's waiting for that moment where he gets to tell him you know during their post eviction after eviction interview that Cassia is actually married to Kelly Ray I am leaving for that moment yes guys my heart goes out to Toby yes I mean 
he was evicted. He's going to find out that the woman he likes in the house is married. And also, he was called stupid. I mean, Ebuka made it known today. Um, when Ebuka asked TJ about some of the comments he had made about some certain housemates, you know, calling Toby um, a stupid person, calling um, them, by the way, twins tribalistic because they always move with Igbo people in the house. Thank God Ebuka addressed that because that was one of the things that actually put me off this week. And also saying that Kelly Ray is a snake. Oh my, you could have seen Kelly Ray's face. Kelly Ray was like, uh uh-uh, uh, for where to where? What did I come do? Now, I expected his mouth to be sharp. You know how TJ's mouth is always sharp when he's talking about people? Oh um, uh, like I said, they will always talk behind people like a lion. And then when it comes to face the person, they are always like a kitten. He was just trying to shalaye, like, oh, he didn't mean that. It's just that he's always seeing him, by the way, twins, you know, with Indine, you know, and that. And Ibuka was like, do you realize how weird that sounds? Like, can you hear yourself? Do you realize how weird that sounds? And I thought this man has an iota of sense. Probably he would have just said, oh, I'm sorry, Ibuka. It was insensitive. I shouldn't have said it. But he was still trying to explain. Explain what? Like, we as a nation, Nigeria, we are going through a phase where bigotry is on a very high. Like, so why would you put that on a show like that? Like make it make sense anyways um about kelly ray he was like um what did he even say oh that there was something that kelly ray had said he had made fun of ben and then when kelly ray came kelly ray tried to instigate that ben was against him i'm like ha from where to where Anyways, that's not even the one with Sweet My Belle. The one that Sweet My Belle passed is the fact that Nelly remains the queen. Baby girl stood on business. Look, I admire people that when they say something behind your back, they say it to your face. Um, uh, this house is going to be hot this way because we are going to be having a WWE SmackDown raw as it is between Nelly and Chinwe. What had happened? Ebuka had asked um, Nelly about their wager, asking her, you felt like some housemates actually contributed to you guys losing your wager and she said yes you know Chinwe um because she was always sleeping and all of that and Ebuka was like why would you think you know that she doesn't like you because Nelly had mentioned that Chinwe doesn't like her and wanted her to fail and she was like I mean this babe um saw jury and started calling her names she was one that saw the jury put it out asking people who owns this jury and they kept it there and um what's her name she went saw it and started calling her anini calling her and i'm i'm rubber like from where to where waiting rich like that also she narrated something that happened on saturday night while um i think someone had commented that they gave her and she went the same outfit and she went made her face you know like somehow and she was like at the end of the day sha I, both of us wore the clothes, but my own fits me past her. I'm like, ah, the shade, the shade. <laughs> See, I love it when people say something behind your back and say it with full force, with full confidence in your face. Yes. Also, Handy was asked about something um, that Mickey had said that she's always with um, Sean and Wani, even referring to Sean as uh, Sean, that she's there with them in the bathroom, in the kitchen, everywhere. And she was like, um, excuse you, even though she used a lot of F words, like whoever it is that is saying that you mind their business and leave whatever happens between her sister and Sean alone, that they should mind their business. Like sh- she is very close with her sister, that even if they are not twins, she will still be very close with her sister. And Sean is a very, very good friend of theirs. So I don't know why they feel like that. Um, the twins gave us highlights tonight and she gave, both of them gave each other a peck. Yeah, both of them gave each other a peck that made a lot of the audience go like, ah, you know nigerians we are not used to that kind of thing also very important information like i told you guys at the beginning of this video no more custodian challenge Mm-mm, no more scraps no more custodian challenge i told you guys last week that the way i'm seeing it those boxes are three and they have been exhausted so no more custodian challenge also no more head of house ballot it's, in fact, everybody, everything goes back to the normal way it was in Big Brother's house. The only difference is they're going to be nominated in pairs. Yes. So basically, from tomorrow, the head of house challenge is back. They will be playing the head of house challenge from 2 p.m. to about 6 p.m. tomorrow, then followed by nominations, meaning the power day for our hand. Housemates can no longer determine who leaves the house. Now we get power. Yes. So basically, that's what's going to happen. If you are going to be with the head of house, you have to earn it. You have to work for it. You don't have to campaign for anybody to vote for you as head of house anymore. And also, head of house gains immunity, but 
no power to save, replace, or even evict. Big Brother is back in business. Now is you know, no bad held, no kid gloves. Everybody got to show their real colors. Ah, how I wish Ruti was here. Our mother house will just be like WWE because ah, ah, Ruti would have given us fire. I mean, the little fire she gave us last night, we are still reeling in it. So yeah, um, that's about it. So if you have your faith still in that house, this is the time for you to put your money where your mouth is. Vote, vote, vote. And this is how, you know, you guys voted. I'll say the housemates actually voted out according to what people wanted because if you can look at it, uh, if you can look at this diagram, Streets and Flourish have the lowest vote. So I think, I mean, it's only fair that they leave. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section. Now for my voice, you know that I actually did enjoy this eviction show more than I would have on the norms because Big Brother did what I wanted. He reset that game. We are back to the normal voting process. No more pretending of anything. Let's see who actually has a very strong base. Yes. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Izzy Williams.